Hey everybody and welcome to Leia's Lair. In this episode, I'll be going over what happened to Darth Maul after Obi-Wan cut him in half in The Phantom Menace. If you're enjoying the videos, please give them a like, share, and subscribe to the channel so I can continue making them for you. Okay, so we all remember the moment when Obi-Wan used the Force to pull himself out of the reactor shaft and simultaneously grabbed Qui-Gon's lightsaber, jumping over Darth Maul, and slicing him in half. Now most people would assume the image of the two halves of Maul falling down the reactor shaft would be the last we would see of him. However, that was most certainly not the case as Darth Maul miraculously survived. So what exactly happened? While falling down the reactor shaft, Maul, who was still alive, channeled all his hate and willed himself to survive. He used the force to grab onto an air vent and from there somehow got himself into a trash container. Eventually he would be sent to Lotho Minor, a planet of trash and junk where he would have his legs replaced with a six-legged mechanism enabling him to walk once more. He ended up remaining in exile on the planet for years, where he would become both increasingly angry and driven to get revenge on Obi-Wan for doing this to him. Meanwhile, Mother Talison knew that Maul was still alive somewhere in the Outer Rim and summoned his brother, Savage Opress, to go and find him. Equipped with a talisman, Opress went out to find Maul, eventually locating him on Lotho Minor. I'm here at last, brother. At this point, Maul had essentially lost his mind to the point where he did not even recognize his own brother. brother. Is that you, brother? You brother? You brother? You brother? You brother? You brother? No. No. You are the brother I've been searching for. No. 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 How long have you been here? Years and years and years. Your legs. Can't scum. He took them from me! Who took them? Jedi! Through the grief! Jedi! Revenge. I must have revenge. All he wanted to do was have his revenge on Obi-Wan. Patience, brother. We're almost home. Opress took him back to Dathomir, where Mother Talisman restored his mind and gave him a new set of cybernetic legs. Reborn son of Dathomir. With both his body and his mind restored, Maul would continue on his quest to get revenge against Obi-Wan. I have been waiting for you. Eventually, after luring Obi-Wan out, Maul and Oppress would capture Obi-Wan. Now. The Witch and the Jedi. Asajj Ventress would come to Obi-Wan's rescue, and at this point, Maul and Obi-Wan would have their first lightsaber battle in a decade. Ready? You master Qui-Gon Jinn. I gutted him while you stood helpless and watched. How did that make you feel? Obi-Wan. Being crafty, Maul would try to emotionally overwhelm Obi-Wan by telling him about how he slaughtered Qui-Gon all those years ago. Obi-Wan would become overwhelmed by these words, opting to escape with Ventress instead. At this point, Maul knew that Obi-Wan would start pursuing him, which was beneficial to Maul and his plans for revenge. Maul and Opress began a rampage across the galaxy, eventually ending up on the planet Florum. Here they would bribe a crew of pirates into helping them and killing those who refused. Obi-Wan would catch up to them here, and they would once again battle, but this time with Adi Gallia instead of Ventress. After the death of Gallia in battle, Obi-Wan would be left to face the two brothers alone. He would eventually slice off Opress's arm, and fearing that they were outmatched, Opress and Maul fled. They would barely escape the planet after the crew they hired turned against them, then the engine of their ship was hit with a rocket launcher, and the ship was subsequently incinerated. 
And there you have it. What happened to Darth Maul after he was sliced in half in The Phantom Menace? Curious to know more about what happens to Maul after this? Let me know down below in the comment section. And remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more great videos to come. I hope to see you all again in Leia's Lair.